What's that in the sky? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Cook here, coming at you guys today with a UU match versus Big Sergeant. I'm not really completely sure what his name means. It seems to just be random characters. Yeah, but um, this is a ran random. Yeah, this is a bit of a longer match. It's um a UU match versus. Versus, coming up the teams, coming up the teams, teams are coming up now, coming up now, they're coming up now. A hail team. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, oh, hail. No. Nah. But, um, tss, yeah, I know, I'm hilarious. So I'm gonna lead off with my Tangrowth, and he's gonna lead off with his Abomb Snow to get up the hail. He's gonna switch out around in the first turn straight into his Azumarill. And I'm gonna go for a Sleep Powder just to, you know, put something to sleep. Actually, it's going to miss, and, you know, that really didn't matter too much. He's going to go for an Ice Punch here, and it's going to take me down to just above half after the hail and whatnot. And I'm going to actually go for another Sleep Powder, and this time it's going to hit. That damage from that Ice Punch really didn't matter, because I'm going to be able to get off my Regenerator when I switch out, so, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not going to bother me. He's going to switch out into Ernie, his Porygon 2. Me predicting the switch, I'm going to go for the Leech Seed. Just so I can start, like, absorbing stuff. Like a boss. Because I absorb things. I'm slightly thirsty right now. I'm going to drink some Mountain Dew. Delicious. I'm going to switch out my 10 growth. Predicting, like, something like an Ice Beam. And he goes to the Toxic. I probably should have seen that coming because that was a physical wall. And you know, that's what you like to do to walls. You like to use Toxic on them. But I'd rather have Toxic on this Mammoth Swine than um, anything. Here I'm just going to go for the Icicle Crash, trying to just do damage. He's going to switch into Glaceon, and that's going to, you know, take that hit really well. Especially after Leftovers and Ice Body. I'm pretty sure this thing has Lefties. This thing has Lefties, right? Yeah, it does. He's going to go for the Blizzard, you know, perfect accuracy. And I always forget that this thing is neutral against ice, so it's going to take me out pretty easily. Which kind of sucks. You know, I'm going to switch into Cobalion, bringing him to switch. I'm going to go for the Sword Stance, and he does switch. Yeah, switches into Azumarill, so I'm just going to go for a close combat, see what I can do. Knowing it's going to stay asleep for at least one turn, and if it doesn't do a lot, I can switch out. Ah, my god, I keep burping, I'm sorry. Anyways. I guess it was that Mountain Dew. So I'm gonna go for that close combat right here, and it's gonna actually crit and kill him. I think that crit mattered. I don't know how much that Azumarill could have done to my team, but all that matters is it's out of the way pretty early in the game, which that's good for me. He's gonna switch in his Dawn Fan. I'm like, eh, I don't really want to take an Earthquake, so I'm gonna switch in Tangrowth, and yeah, he's gonna take this Earthquake like a boss, because you know, he's a Tangrowth. Resisted, high HP, high defense, all that fun stuff. Yay for random after turn effects. So here's gonna switch out, and I'm gonna set up my leech seeds, I believe, again. Am I? Do I set up leech seed? Yeah, I set up leech seed. Of course I set up, set up leech seed. Here, seeing what he did to the um, male swine, I should have realized that he was probably gonna go for toxic, but you know. For some reason, I didn't, and he sets up a tactic on me, gets it off, and I'm just like, Why did I stay in? That was very stupid of me. Very, very stupid of me. But I'm just gonna go for power up, and it actually misses, so that really didn't help anything at all. So, yeah, it, power up probably wouldn't have even done that much to him in the first place, but. Yeah. So, here's gonna go for recover just to get off whatever tiny damage that I don't even have on him. I don't know. And that's just how much a power orb does, like... It's like an 8 hit KO, that's... It's no good, that's not helpful. But, yeah... Well, I need to stop saying, but yeah, that's kind of a bad habit of mine. So, I know I only have like 30 subs and nobody really watches my videos, but I'm gonna ask how you guys are doing. How are you guys doing? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into my Cobalion. 
predicting him to switch, I'm going to set up a sword dance again. Or, no, this is the one I... Yeah, nope, nope, I lied. I'm just gonna go for close combat, try to take out that Abomb Snow. But he switches into Don Fan, and he takes that very, very nicely. Because I guess Don Fans have pretty not terrible defense. Well, I know they have not terrible defense. I've used Don Fans before. Yeah, so I'm just gonna switch out, not wanting to take another Earthquake again. He's gonna predict that switch, and he's gonna set up some stealth rocks, and like... Uh, I don't like rocks. Uh, not rocks again, my nurse. I usually bring a spinner to most matches, but, um... For some reason, this was... I didn't bring a spinner to this match, and those rocks are gonna hurt a little bit. So he's gonna switch back into his Obama. No! I'm gonna set up the leech seeds. He probably predicted that. So that's probably why he switched into Obama Snow, and to get off a of blizzard to take me out or whatever. I don't know. So he's gonna set up a substitute here, I'm like, uh, that's not gonna do much. And I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. That's another thing I forget, I somehow always forget that Ice is neutral against ground, or I always imagine like, I know Ice is super effective against ground, but I always imagine it being like, just both ways, like ground is also super effective against Ice, I don't know why. So here I'm gonna switch into my chandelure, and you know them, them rocks ain't fun. He's gonna set up a blizzard. Why do I always say set up? He's gonna go for a blizzard. It's not very effective, but after hail, it's gonna bring me down into the, like the yellow. So about 45-ish percent. I'm just gonna go for an overheat here, and you know, special attack drop, and it's still gonna break the sub. Well, I didn't have special attack drop at the time, but derp 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 Today my narration seems to be a little bit off. Oh well, I really don't care because I really have to have a battle up. Because I haven't had a battle up in a while. So after all these leech seeds and life... No, this isn't life orb yet. Is it? Gafour. Anyways, I'm just gonna go for another overheat over here, trying to take out that Obama Snow, which he switched out. Even after the special attack drop, it's still gonna be able to take out that Dawn Fan, so that says a little bit about Dawn Fan's special defense. It's really not very high. Or does it really say something about Chandelure's special attack? Ho ho ho. Anyways, he's gonna switch into his Rotom Frost form, and he's just gonna go for a Volt Switch. That's obviously gonna take out that Chandelure because it was at really low health. And he's gonna send in Glacion, and I'm like, okay, switch advantage, whatever. Um, Chandelure would be nice here, but you know, it's dead. So I'm just gonna send in Suicune. Ah, <sighs> Suicune. I've always had very mixed feelings about this thing. I've always heard it was good, but it's never really done amazing for me. He's gonna switch back into Rotom Frost, and I'm just gonna go for a Scald, hoping to get the burn. And I do get that burn, so that's... That is dandy. That is very nifty. So after all this fun stuff, he's gonna be down to yellow. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt, and that's gonna take me down to 24 HP. And I'm like, wow, that was really close. I probably should have tried to rest or something. Because this is a rest talking set, but you know, I didn't. I don't know. So it's gonna be a double down because Hale's gonna take me down, Burn's gonna take him down. So yeah, he's gonna send in his wall, I'm gonna send in my wall in the form of Twinkie. I don't know why, I do not know why I never ever predict a Toxic for some reason. I should, I should. I know Toxic's coming, but I didn't. Oh well. So I'm gonna set up a curse to, get, you know, kind of get my attack a little bit higher so I can hit this thing a little bit harder. Uh, he traced my Thick Fat. I think this one has Fire Punch, but, you know, I really don't want to use Fire Punch because it's Thick Fat, so that's not going to help. So I'm just going to go for the Return to get Stab, and, you know, yeah. So it's just going to hit him. It's going to do a good chunk, about 40-ish percent, 35-ish after um his leftovers and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. I'm gonna switch out Twinkie and go back into Cobalion. This is the turn that I was talking about a while back where I actually set up the Swords Dance. He's gonna set up the Leech Seat and that's gonna miss. Really not that big of a deal. Yeah. Ooh, okay, sorry. Awkward silence. I need to stop kind of getting ahead of the narration or the video because I kind of have a habit of doing that. So if anybody has any like techniques to stop me from doing that, I don't know. I've tried speeding up the video a little bit more when I do that, sometimes I only get in front of the battle sometimes. So if I speed it up too much, I'm kind of like, oh my god, and I'm trying to say way too much at one time, and it comes out really 
blurry and unclear, but anyways. Here I'm going to go for the plus two close combat, just to see if I can kill that Obama Snow. I mean, it would kill the Obama Snow, but he switches into Porygon too. I'm like, is it going to kill it? Ah, just barely survives. I'm just like, come on. Ah, oh, but I'm like, wait, wait, hell, sweet. That Porygon too is finally out of the way, so that's good for me. Oh god, I just said that's good for me. He's going to switch into Glaceon. He's going to go for Hidden Power something. I don't know what. And after the defense drop from close combat, that's going to be able to take me out. I'm like, oh, poop. I like Kupalion. I don't know. I, I, I really like this Musketeer trio. Like, Rizion has served me really well. Terrakion has served me very well. And in Yu Yu, Kupalion has served me very well. So I really like this trio. And I just like fighting types in general. Anyways, here I'm going to go for, um... A return just to hit whatever comes in. Yeah. More awkward silences because of after counter fun stuff. I don't know if you guys realize yet, but this match is really, really kind of stally. I don't know. So I'm gonna go for a return, that's gonna bring him down to about 30, 25%, 30, I don't know. Yeah, that much damage, however much he has. And, um, you know, all of this Toxic and Leech Feed has really kind of taken its toll on my Twinkie. He's just gonna go for a Giga Drain, even though it's a special wall, you know. He just wants to get some HP back. He's all the way back in the green, I'm just like, oh man, come on. So I'm just gonna go for a return, just because, you know, I know Twinkie's gonna die this turn because of, you know, Hail, and then Toxic, and then Leech Seed. And then, yeah, you know. My leftovers really isn't gonna help me in this situation. So I'm like, ah, I really don't like Obama Snow. How am I gonna take this thing out? But I really can't. This is my last Pokemon. He's just gonna go for that perfect accuracy blizzard, and it's gonna take me out, so good game, Ixarjum or I G S R A J M, whatever. Whatever. Good game, so um comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I really like to be noticed a little bit. I don't know. I, I try hard on YouTube, I do, but I don't ever really get much in turn, but that's not it, I'm just kind of venting right now. Oh well. So, so, um, I have some fun battles coming up soon. And I actually have little background texture hacks now, so, um, if you guys are into that, that's fun. So anyways, that's gonna be about it. Super Kook signing out. Love y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hasta la bye-bye.